Hi everyone, welcome to my first video of 2020. I thought it would be very fitting to start off the year um, and even the decade with something motivational. So as you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be making our vision board. You can see it back there, don't mind the broom. I have actually been preparing for this video for about a week now, um, but today I woke up and I have my coffee and I shaved my legs and I'm feeling good and I think we should just really build on that momentum and that productivity. So we are going to be crushing this today. I did actually watch a few videos just because I want to do, um, I want to put 100% into this. I want, I really want to do this good. So I watched a few videos and a lot of them have like general outlines, um, you know, to follow, to make your own vision board, what they follow throughout their videos. And again, they're very basic in general. So um, I am actually going to be including the steps that I followed and that I'm going to be using in this video as well. You ever had that one piece of hair that just... No? Okay, whatever. So the first step is going to be you're going to um, write out your goals. And then the second thing is you're going to um, kind of lay out the presentation. So instead of just sticking things on there immediately, you're going to place them out and see how you like things. Um, and then the third thing, of course, is going to be actually putting it all together. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to take you with me through every single step. So like I said, the first step is to go over your goals. And I actually, um, the way I have it, it, it can be very confusing. I'm just going to give a quick little um, brief overview because I really want to go in detail at the end when my board is completely made. So I have this 2020 goals and I have three sections. I kind of just put them into three sections. I have health, passions, and personal growth. In the health section, I put kind of like the... Um, areas in health that I want to be successful at basically I have physical health mental health financial health and then just health in general I guess um, and then in my passions I have YouTube um, school slash career I want to write a book and then um, reading I really enjoy reading and then under personal growth I have journaling um, maybe like a workshop or conference that I can attend this year um, counseling and then um, reading again, but this time, you know, motivational, personal growth, those kinds of things. And then last thing I have is cultural. And then what I did after I made that list was I actually kind of did this. I don't know what it's called, but um, I kind of did like these webs for all of my areas. Some have a lot more than others and some don't even have any because i feel like it's kind of um it's pretty literal um and those those are the very last ones so as you can see i thought about it a lot and the ones that are highlighted are actually the main ones that i really wanted to emphasize on my um, board for example in my physical health i have um, lose 20 pounds highlighted because that is my weight goal for this year and then I also have um, the other highlighted one is become consistent in the gym and then I have a little subsection you know consistent in the gym for me would be like five to six week five to six days each week in the gym and that's eventually when I want to become consistent in but like I said I don't really want to get too much into my goals right now because I want to go in detail later so we're just going to quickly move on to um, step number two, which is to gather all of your materials. And then, of course, if you printed some materials, you know, you'll have to cut them and then you kind of just pre-plan how you want to how you want to lay it all out on your board. So I'm going to get all of my materials and I'll show you what I have right now. So I guess we'll start with the poster board itself. I have this. I got it from um, Hobby Lobby and I have um, some printouts that I printed that um, are a little bit more specific things I couldn't find in magazines and then I have this which is filled with um, these glitter glue things um, I'm not even sure if I'll be using that but I just wanted to get all of the artsy things that I do have then I have my color pencils of course more glitter things Then I also got these sticker things from Hobby Lobby. 
Then the main thing where I got all of the stuff I'm going to be putting came from these magazines. Um, I had a year subscription to Oprah's magazine. So I just collected all the ones that I had. These are literally the only magazines that I have. And I went through them. And all the tabs. I already went through them. All of the tabs you see there are the pages that I'm going to be taking things from. I'm going to go through the magazines and my prints my printouts and um, after I have that then I'll get into placing them where I want them. everything on and then I also ended up using some of the glitter glue so it took a long time to dry especially this one part but I, again it's the next day and I finished it so now we're gonna go over the board the final product so this is the final product I'm gonna give you like so you can see all of it and then we're gonna go over each piece a little bit more so of course, in the middle, it has 2020 vision. Because it's really the only year you can say that. But how we're gonna do this is, since you've seen the whole board, now I'm gonna um, put an image of like each area or piece that I'm gonna talk about right here. And then I'm just gonna talk about it. 
So we're going to go sort of left top corner, um, down, and then to the right side. So the very in the very top right, in the very top left corner of the board is my um, physical goals. So as you can see, there is the word mindset right there in the very top, and I saw that and I put that there because I think really. Um, a lot of my physical goals are um, also sort of tied with like mental goals you know when you're trying to get back into shape or you're just physically challenging yourself it's very mental so that's where that's why I thought that mindset would fit perfectly there and then and then you also see like different types of physical act activity that's being done like the yoga the weightlifting and then um, my favorite is the one um, with the girl she's lifting she's about to lift up the weights but the weights are broccolis that one's my favorite but those basically show the different types of things that i want to get into this year and then there's also the scale that actually shows the minus 20 and i put the minus 20 there there was something different there but i put the minus 20 there because i wanted to be very specific with my physical goal my main goal is to lose 20 pounds because that's where I'm supposed to be so that's why I included the minus 20 and I just wanted to be very specific because in the other videos that I stated that I watched it says to be specific with the goal so that's why I put that there there's also a few more little quotes or sayings to kind of help motivate me such as the one that said one pound at a time um, I think which will really speak to me and like patience kind of um, patience as in just knowing that it's not going to be easy it's going to be slow probably a slow process so we just need to take a like one day at a time one step at a time one pound at a time and then the other quote is saying stop wishing start doing and I think that perfectly fits me because I'm always kind of looking back on things and wishing things um, were different it's different especially when it comes to um, my physical self and I just really like that quote stop wishing start doing actually doing the work and getting what you wish for working for what you wish for so that's my physical section and now we're gonna go lower into um, my financial goals area so the very first thing that you probably see is the um, Dave Ramsey's baby steps and underneath it, it shows what baby step number one and baby step number two is. Um, and right next to the baby step number one, which is to save a thousand dollars emergency fund, I put a green check mark because that's what I want to have at least accomplished by the end of this year. And then um, where it says step number two, debt payoff using the debt snowball. I don't have a green check mark next to it just because we have, we're not going to be able to pay off the amount that we have in debt by the end of this year and that's just um, realistically speaking but I do want to be on that step by the end of this year going back to trying to be very specific I put in um, a little graph that gives a little bit of a breakdown not too much because of course I'm gonna go into detail in that you know through other videos and throughout the year but the the debt tracker it shows the highlighted pink section is ten thousand dollars that's how much i want to have made towards our debt and as you can see there's still a very large amount left over after the ten thousand dollars but um the ten thousand dollars is just the amount that i want to pay off this year ten thousand dollars because january is basically over that's about 11 months instead of 12 months so um Ten thousand dollars in eleven thousand months. That's about um, nine hundred, around nine hundred dollars um, each month. And I do believe that we can do that, or at least get to the ten thousand um, dollars. But I also really want to push ourselves. So ten thousand dollars for right now is the goal. And then right next to that, I have my cash envelopes. I just took a picture of the cash envelopes that I already have and I kind of just put it on there to remind myself to be to try to be as consistent with the cash envelope system and the zero budgeting as much as I can because I know when we use them that we're successful and of course that's what we want to be so that's why I put that there 
And then also a little part of it, um, there is that little motivational part that says, my best life. Um, and it kind of ties into all of the sections, but I feel like more so in the financial section because if you are financially stable, you're basically living your best life when you know, when you are handling your finances and you're taking care of yourself that way. So that I just put that between there, but it also works to so the next section is actually going to be my reading section. And as I'm looking at the board, I see that the reading section is actually a huge part of the board. and I never really anticipated it to be that way but i think it shows just how much i actually do want to focus on reading this year and not necessarily for like educational or uh, motivational aspect but just because i really enjoy reading and i listed reading as one of my passions um under my goals list really because it's just something that i really like to do and last year i didn't really spend a lot of time reading and i think maybe this time having um doing like challenges or just maybe like keeping track of what i'm reading i think that would be really beneficial for me so you see here um in the corner i have my coffee because i love to drink coffee and i i really enjoy that as well so i have that with my reading because i do like to drink coffee while i'm reading and then i have those three different types of challenges that i plan to do this year or at least want to aim for so i have the m judson's reading challenge and then i have the one that's just named reading challenge but i, I believe that's with um the moon they're an instagram page i got all of these off of instagram by the way the reading challenge the second one is with the moon and then the last one is just the unread bookshelf monthly challenge and basically each challenge has their own um category of reading each month and i've actually already started this challenge i'm about halfway done which is i think it's good because i still have like a week or so left in the month but i think that's kind of going to be my guide to like tracking my reading and kind of just making sure that i'm putting time away to really just read and enjoy the reading and then of course i have a whole bunch of um books put on there and seeing those books on there it kind of makes me excited for it and it makes me happy seeing them there so moving on to the right corner section we have kind of a mixed section um, so the image with the open journal with the writing and then next to the coffee again I like my coffee I love my coffee but the journal that's next to it represents a few things actually it represents um, first journaling which was in my um, mental aspect of my goals and then it also represents my book writing aspect which is in which was in my passion section of my goals but it represents both of those because of course journaling is good for you mentally so that's an that's an image of something that I want to start doing a lot and then also my book writing I have a few book ideas I just haven't put them down on paper and that's what that represents right there me actually starting to work on that process this year which I'm actually very excited to do so that's why I have that image there and then underneath it I have just another little quote it says cultivate joy right next to it is the um, my traveling section it's a small section but it's there um, it has a lot of the monumental things from different cities in different countries the Eiffel Tower and monuments like that it just emphasizes that I love to travel and it's something that I do want to do in 2020 but it's not going to be something big like the Eiffel Tower I think for 2020 it's more of just going to be smaller trips you know within maybe like another state or something or maybe even places within Arizona because there's actually a lot of places to visit in Arizona I also want to start saving for a big trip maybe not in this year but in 2021 and again I'm not sure where that's going to be yet but I have that there to remind myself and then a little bit above it is um see like an image of a passport and then a suitcase and then a ring but I also put the wedding ring or the engagement ring next to the Eiffel Tower just saying you know that would be nice but anyways next I have the um, image of the the face figure or the head figure which um, I'm not sure if you can tell in the 
in the image that I'm putting right here, but it has like a spatial vibe to it. It has like stars in, of in the head. There's nothing else in the head except for the stars. And then the eyelids or like the eye is a moon. That image just shows to me, like it looks really peaceful and that's what I aim to be, like very peaceful. I just love the spatial vibe that it has to it. It looks really cute, so I have it there. And then going on upwards, I have a section, again, it's a little bit uh, mixed. My YouTube section is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be, but that's really, I think really just because the goals that I have are not really the best ones to put in an image. Maybe because I'm not really sure how to, but this is what I came up with, um, which I have the YouTube logo, of course, and then next to it I have my subscribers goal, and I have my subscribers goal as 10,000 by the end of this year. Right now I have 500. So that's 20 times more subscribers than I have right now that I want by the end of this year. That's a lot. Um, it took me a while to come up with the 10,000 number because I didn't want to go super, super high, even though $10,000 does feel high, and I didn't want to go too low because ever since I created my YouTube channel, I didn't even think that I would be at 500 right now, but I am, which is good, but also it kind of makes me realize that um, if I put in more work and I, you know, I'm consistent and all of those things, I think I could get to 10,000 subscribers, maybe even more. So that's the goal that we are putting down for the YouTube channel. So at this point, if you're not subscribed, you should subscribe and help me get to that goal. But anyways, next to it, I have the camera um, because I shoot all of my videos on my phone. I edit them all on my phone and I think it would, it would be really helpful to have an actual camera to record the videos on just because just for a lot of reasons. So I have that there and then I put it close to the travel section because also I think it would be very beneficial to have a camera for when you travel um, eventually. So that's just me um, giving reasons as to why I think I should get a camera maybe for like a birthday or something. Anyways, so to the left of that I have um, sort of my cultural goal section and um, I tried my best to show it again. Some of these goals are like not the best to put into images. So I have the image of the um, Native American woman. And I actually took a picture of that from a t-shirt that I have that I bought from my friend. She has her um, business and she sells a lot of these indigenous things. So I took a picture of that and she just in the image like looking at the girl she looks very strong and confident and that's how i want to be that's how i want to see myself so she looks really cool there and right next to it i have like a little quote that says deepen your resilience which i think fit perfectly right next to her because i believe that indigenous people are very resilient so i just thought that fit 1000 percent right there and then right next to it, under, underneath the YouTube logo, I have the, um, just a little, tiny, tiny piece of the Navajo language. So it says S-H-A, what it means is the sun. So I have a picture of the sun right next to it. And um, if you haven't noticed, my name is Sean Dean. Um, I am Navajo. I've always been told a very specific part of the sun, maybe like the sun ray or just something in it. Um, basically, that brings brightness and everything that the sun brings. But yeah, I put that there because um, I one of my cultural goals for this year is to um, maybe not become fluent by the end of this year in Navajo, but just to learn just to start the learning process. Um, I don't have a specific goal actually of how much I want to learn, but I do want to start that process. So that's why I have that there. And now moving to the top right corner, I have a image of the earth and underneath it, it says a world of difference and then some reusable straws underneath it. And then the reusable cups and the hydro flasks, which of course are reusable. And those are just some of the smaller ways that I want to be more environmental friendly or basically 
I want to find even bigger ways to figure out how myself as just one person can help as much as I can. So that's even though it, the um, this wasn't on my goals for 2020, you can kind of see that as I went along, when I saw things that I really felt um, either like connected for, like passionate for, I grabbed them and that was one of the things actually. So I have that there. And then next to it, I have um, just some hearts. They are some crystals next to the earth. Um, I think that's kind of fitting because they come from the earth, duh. But also they're hearts, so I think that was just like a li nice little touch, like a nice little spot filler. But of course, with hearts, you can connect it to anything. You know, you want to love the world more, or like you want to love the earth more, you want to love each other more, whatever it is. I have those hearts there. Then the next... Then underneath that I have like a little inspo thing where it says change your world and just basically anything that represents making a difference or positively changing something, anything like that, I kind of just put it in that area. So of course change your world, change our world, it could be presented as a lot of things. And then right underneath that I have a lady she's just like it kind of looks like she's looking at a spaceship or something like she's about to be abducted so she's like you know she's under that light that spotlight and she's looking up and I put I found a quote that I put right on top of it it says strengthen your purpose so it's kind of like she's looking up and like she just found her purpose or something so like that would be me I want one of those moments or something or maybe if it's not even a moment but whatever it is I want what she's doing maybe not even like learn my purpose but like create it and quote pretty much says it all strengthen your purpose now moving on to the very final section of the board is the top middle section and it's pretty pretty upfront it just says I have eat and then I have health oh I forgot to add an e to the end of health so it's gonna say health e but anyways, then I just have some images of some healthy looking meals and snacks. Um, again, that's pretty upfront and easy to tell. I just want to um, eat a lot better, which comes with like not eating out all of the time, kind of lowering how many chocolates I eat and chips I eat and all that stuff. And then underneath the um, snack platter there, if you don't recognize her, not gonna say anything about that but basically she is from um, the Marvel movie she shows in Black Panther and then of course she shows throughout the series of Marvel okay so as I'm editing for some reason I can't find the part where I explained who Okoye is from Black Panther but basically she is a um, super good soldier she's a super good leader and overall she's just a really strong individual and she's just super loyal to like her beliefs and Overall, she's just like a badass woman in Marvel and she's like one of my personal favorites. That's why I put her there just because I really admire her and of course I want to have some of her qualities for myself. This is the full version. 2020 vision, that's what it's about. Also, I'm supposed to be wearing my glasses so I can have 2020 vision, but that's okay. We're working on that this year, 2020 everything once again all together so that is the end of this video and i want to remind of you if you have not made your 2020 vision boards yet you should definitely do it and if you are not subscribed already you should definitely subscribe super excited to be back and making videos also like this video if you liked how the vision board came out and then also comment either if you've already done your vision board or a goal for 2020 because I will read them and I will enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you in the next video.